Welcome back to another episode of Starfield. Today, we're going to be continuing the Crimson Fleet storyline by heading to the key to likely meet Delgado. So when I restarted this storyline, I was able to complete the Crimson Fleet initiation without killing the guy. And now Sistef doesn't hate me as much. But as far as I know, that is the only difference going into this. And let's jump right into it. Took you so long. Forget how to grab jump or something. Why? Did you miss me? Please. It'd be one less sloppy rook whose mess I had to clean up. The last thing I need is another Austin rate getting cold feet. You want to leave the fleet? You pay the price. Not in credits, but in blood. I had my own affairs to deal with. I don't care. Time is money, and you've wasted both. That ends today. Clear? But all that aside, you made it. So now you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Key. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. The Crimson Fleet took over an entire UC star station? Sure did. Right <laughs> out from under their noses. Way before you or I were born, though. We've held this station for a very long time. Don't worry. Delgado will tell you all about it. Looks like a good place for some R&R. &R. Hell yeah, it is. Just watch your back when you do. Cred sticks tend to disappear around here, if you catch my meaning. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you, too. Follow me. All right. I'll it's kill a motherfucker if they try and steal my creds. So, the key is in orbit around Suvarov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, Key. Huh, cute, huh? <coughs> now. We've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nav. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. 
will hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot world. Well, you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. <coughs> it's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but, uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuroamps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh, no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. Don't even the try right, to rip me off. Right Bradley from I the know trade value board. when I see it. I'm sure you know the deal there. You'll buy pretty much anything, <laughs> no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up. If you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you know? Okay. This is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova. The bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean, Austin Wraith? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. How is a bomb in your chest empowering? I see the bomb as a symbol of my importance, and it's a constant reminder to everyone of the sacrifice I was willing to make. The freedom I've given up, the pain, it's not something that just anyone has the resolve to bear. That's the most clever security measure I've ever seen. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew <laughs> any semblance of a moral conscience, 
You might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. So one wrong move and you're dead? Essentially. But I sleep soundly knowing I'm one of the few that can piss Delgado off and live. Should I die, all of my knowledge, the accounts, the credits, it would be a mess. He wouldn't dare. He holds the trigger. But we all know that my death cripples the fleet. Call the bomb a weapon of last resort. I bet you don't get out much. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications, even Ryujin would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There, you're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Any other modifications I need to know about? None. Other than my chest and arm modifications, I am but a simple man. Is the interview over now? Can we get back to work? It's about time. Yes, about time you shut up and listened. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. What kind of jobs? Oh, you know, smuggling, piracy, taking things that aren't yours. Nothing that should keep you up at night. Well, depending on your methods. I'm not interested in small jobs. Fine by me. There's plenty of others who do. You do less, you make less. It's a pretty simple equation. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. Right, Speak to Delgado. There's clearly a ton of stuff that I can take a look at here. So I'm going to take a poke around, see if I can't find anything useful. I'm going to talk to any of the vendors and see if they have any unique and useful things that I can have. And if anything exciting happens, I'll show you. If not, I'll see you upstairs to talk to Delgado. Ah, there are our other new recruits. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neighbors willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. I'm just waiting to cash in. You and everyone else on the station. Keep following orders and you'll get paid. It's as simple as that. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Why would a pirate organization have so many rules? Of course we have rules. If you think the Crimson Fleet was built on a lawless dream, think again. Our influence, our money, our respect comes from meticulous planning and every last soul in the fleet following my orders to the letter. That is why you need to learn to place the fleet before everything. 
I hope that doesn't include fleet before breakfast because I like to sleep late. Hey, if you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Room could use a little color if you ask me. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this rook's backbone. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Mm. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. How many tests and initiations do I have to go through? What? Were you expecting a goddamn graduation ceremony? Think I'm just going to slap a skull on you and send you on your way? Yeah. Make no mistake. You are being tested all the time. Every job you take will be under constant scrutiny. And Neva? Oh, she's just waiting for you to screw things up. What's this code Neva's talking about? Through a bit of luck and a hell of a lot of cash, Neva was able to get her hands on an access code to the inside of the lock. This will be the first time someone from the Grinson fleet has set foot in there for, well, since Crix left the place behind. It has been frustrating being this close to potential clues, but not being able to find a way through those prison walls. So you take every new pirate on these initiations? Of course. Where else could I find such a perfect location to weed out any rooks who'd be wasting the fleet's time? Maybe you should tell me more about Crix's legacy. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Cricks left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. What if Nave is right and Crix's legacy isn't real? Listen to the words that I am saying. The legacy is real. You will find that out in due time, provided you're willing to put in the work. Nothing worth having ever comes easy. Won't the fleet just become a larger target for UC stuff? You forget the UC is still licking its wounds from the colony wars. They don't have the capability to mount a full-scale assault. And if they were foolish enough to attack, we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to Jemison. If we have Grixis' legacy. We'll be unstoppable. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. Shark.
Pirate swashbuckler gear added. 16,000 creds. That's a decent amount of money for an initiation. I wonder if there's anything around here worth grabbing. I didn't really find a whole lot of anything interesting around the base in general. The vendors don't sell anything too crazy. So I was mostly just mindlessly wandering, taking whatever they'll let me take. So I guess I'll take a poke around the command center here and see if there's anything useful. And then I'll see you down on the surface. Ready for touchdown. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Dell. I always keep my word. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. What exactly do you expect us to find? Oh, I don't know. I was really hoping for a huge sign on the wall saying Grix's legacy clues here. Do I have to spell everything out? Look for data slates, notes, terminal entries. If you wrote a poem on a piece of toilet paper, I want it. Why search the lock for information on Crix's legacy? Before he touched off the riots, Crix spent time behind bars at the lock. If he cooked up any sort of a plan about his legacy, the trail has to start here. Don't worry. Mathis isn't capable of thinking. If that was supposed to be a joke, I am not laughing. Don't worry about laughing, Delgado. It'll be a goddamn laugh riot when I split open his head with a crowbar. All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice bar without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Understood. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. There is fauna here, which means we might encounter something very dangerous. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't even need to fight them. These guys will kill everything for me. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just here to loot. What are you doing up there? Okay. Hang on a second. I didn't kill these things. Do I still get credit for scanning them? I do not. Oh, they're following me. I don't know when or why I got the lead. Hey, fuck off. So there's immature ones and there's adult ones and there's juvenile ones and I'm assuming that they're all different. Nope, they're all the same. 
There are some planets that I've been to where something says immature versus adult. It's all different. And I don't know why. I don't know where the thing is. But I do need hella adhesive, so this is really nice. Yeah, you guys do your thing. I'm going to take a poke around. <laughs> you guys do all the work and I'll reap the benefits. If that's cool with you guys. He said to look for anything, so they can go look over there and I'll look over here. Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The lock. Exactly how long was Jasper Kriggs in this place? Around five years. Rumor says he started planning his escape the moment that he arrived. For how old this place is, I can't believe it's still standing. Yeah? Oh, good. I don't want the place collapsing on us. I've been down here several times in the last few years. As long as we keep the damage to a minimum, we shouldn't have any problems. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. Guessing there's gonna be more aliens in here. Part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Pull it out. If it's hostile, take it down. You see, stick down here now. A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much, but it's better than trying to survive on the surface. Not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Griggs to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Yeah, Buddy has a problem keeping his mouth shut. There's a computer here. Doesn't look like there's anything important on it. Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of them. And that one's a big one. Where'd you come from? Hey, just keep coming. Whoa. Stop throwing shit at me. Hey, can you guys shoot these things? I'll distract them. You guys shoot them. Somebody's over here freaking launching grenades and shit. There is definitely more things around. This area is not secured. The thing is, I want to collect all this shit, but I'm sure that the second that I'm done picking all this stuff up, I'm going to be encumbered again. It's what I'm best at. When it comes to games like this, all I do is just hoard shit for no reason. And then when I end up using it all, I somehow still manage to run out, and I don't know how it's even possible. Must be a nest. 
I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. What do you mean? Think about it, genius. We just unleashed hell on these things. Do you have any idea how far the sound of gunfire carries? Especially on a barren ice ball like this? You're right. We need to move quickly. Hey, how about that? Guess you're not so stupid after all. <laughs> well, look at that. One firefight and the two of you become best buddies. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area. But everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open. I was already in here. It's a dead end. Unless this door will open now. Uh-oh. Damn it. We're gonna have to dig ourselves out. God damn it, we're cut off. Hey, Dell. Can you hear me? Dell! This is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? We stick with the plan. The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it. We are on our own now. Do you think Delgado's testing us? You think he rigged that collapse on purpose? No. No way. I get that we're down here trying to prove ourselves. I don't think this is what Delgado had in mind. Then we should continue to follow Delgado's orders. Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? The hell with that. I have a better plan. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. How are we supposed to take him out? We bide our time. And when the moment's right, we hit him with everything we've got. Even the almighty Delgado won't stand a chance if we work together. Are you serious? We're really doing this right now? Yeah, we're doing this right now. Or maybe we should wait until the next time we're on an alien world and separated from Delgado by an ice fall. I'm listening. I had a feeling you'd be on board. Okay, here's my plan. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. How do I know you're not just a plant set up by Delgado to test my loyalty? Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. I'm busting the ass to become one of the Crimson Fleet captains just like you. And in case you missed it, that icefall trapped both of us in here. Unless we find a way out, no one's reporting anything to anyone. Ever again. You want the Crimson Fleet chasing us for the rest of our lives? No, 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 no way. Listen to me. We're going to be handing Neva leadership of the Crimson Fleet on a platter. She'll be thanking us for getting rid of Delgado. I mean, come on. I'll bet you a month's share that he's never been this vulnerable. It's perfect. Won't the information be worth more than she'd ever pay us? Pff, hell no. Come on, we both know anything we find here about the legacy is going to be a dead end. If Neva wants to spend the rest of her life chasing ghosts, let her. We got more important things to do. Like spending all of our money. I'm on board. For now. Playing it safe, huh? <laughs> I can respect that. But you better have me back when I make me move. Now, let's find a way out of here. We're gonna be real nice to this guy, and then the second that he tries to turn on Delgado, we're gonna turn on him. It's gonna be great. I couldn't... I guess that's one way through. I couldn't push this thing... Uh... Alright, there's gonna be more aliens in here. 
Aha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be really surprised when they pop up. Ooh. There's gotta be tons of shit in this place. I don't know if any of it's really gonna be useful, but... Crafting materials can always find a way to be useful. He's not even out here anymore. A hundred years old, eh? It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. Is anyone there? Quit screwing around and pick up! So the two of you made it, huh? Why are you so surprised to see us? It was a close one, but we're in one piece. Well, brush the dust off and listen up. We have obviously been cut up, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? We got it. not to get any bright ideas or I will gut him myself it's funny it's like he already knows that Mathis is a piece of shit and wants to betray him I'm going to be checking as many computers as I can to see if I can find any evidence for UC Sys stuff. Power restored. More messages. I don't know, you go take a look while I collect some more shit. Guard tower overlooking the cell block. All right, I'm down. Oh, wait a sec. One thing I dislike about games like this is I feel like I constantly have to be picking up ammo or I won't be able to use the weapons I want. Which is why I go out of my way to loot every area relatively thoroughly. Damn, this is the dude with the explosives. Hey. I kind of literally just want to smack them all to death. I don't think I have a single melee weapon on me anymore. With all these cells being over here, I'm sure one of these is going to have some kind of information. I'm going to have to search every single one. It's going to be a great time. Hey, we should talk. Yeah, well, we're almost there. He's no longer following me. Is he going to try and kill me? Ooh. So have you thought about what I've said? I don't want to talk about this right now. Yeah, well, too bad. We're talking. So spit it out. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Doesn't Delgado have a bunch of his buddies with him? You didn't see. 
Those aliens were tearing through them like tissue paper. It'd be a miracle if any of them were alive. Saved us a hell of a lot of trouble. Your plan's worthless unless we find that info. You've got a point. All right, I'll follow your lead for now. So now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? We should locate his cell and search for hidden information. Been in a few slams yourself, I see. Okay, I'll follow your lead. He's following me again. Master? Son of a biscuit. Aha, computer. The information I need has to be in here somewhere, right? Aha. Fuck it, we'll unlock all of them. That can't come back to bite us, right? Means there's a lot of cells for us to search down here now, so probably gonna be a lot of cutting in and out. Took me a while, but I finally found the switch to open this weapons cache here. For some reason, it is above the kitchen in the mess hall, which is right around the corner here. You come down pretty much like towards the middle. This is the wrong way. You come down towards the middle ish, and here's the mess hall. And if you go in this door up here, switches right there I've taken a lot of time running around this place and I think I've practically looted everything in here the switch to open Delgado's cell not Delgado's cell my apologies uh Crix's cell is right there and his cell is right here which is much easier this is the only place I haven't been in over here yet. Base of the lamp desk appears to be loose. I open the base. Today, I bumped into someone in the mess hall yapping about a ship carrying a fortune and credits. I know it's usually bullshit, but he seemed to have details. While we're picking through the trash, we might as well grab some good conversation. I found out the ship was a Galbank transport named Legacy that went down in some remote system during the war. This is exactly the score I've been waiting to find. I need to contact Carter to let him know it's time to get off this rock. He'll help the mining details slip into the utility closet in the ventilation room. That's where we'll dig. Not up. I swear. I am so, never putting ice in my uh, drinks right to ever the again. Carter mentioned that security keeps rotating codes on all the terminals in the lock, so we'll have to coordinate this carefully. For now, we'll continue using his locker in the showers area as a drop point for the code to the utility closet. A hundred years old. By this time next month, I should be out of this dump and uploading those creds into my account. Delgado was right. Kriggs must have hit the Galvan transport and stashed away the money or something. If we play this right, and we're gonna eat them and sleep rich in no time. I remember finding this guy's locker while I was running around, but I couldn't get into it. It said I needed some kind of code to access his locker, and I don't recall getting a code, but maybe now that the story is like, hey, this is where you need to go. It'll just let me open it. Aha. Okay, Carter. Confirming that the latest code to the utility room is 4861107. The mining crew tells me it'll take them a week to cut through the ice. So I'm giving you that long to square your end of the plan. When the tunnel reaches the armory, I'll get my people to start a riot. When you hear the fireworks go off, 
one shot at this. If we play our cards right, this gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what will happen. Open door. That's the only thing in this room. There's nothing. If we get out of here, remind me to thank the gods. Yeah, yeah, I'll remind you. Was this an armory? Naturally, the armory is relatively empty. There are some guards in here, so clearly they didn't get away scot free. I feel like there's literally nothing left in here. But that's not going to stop me from checking every inch of this and grabbing all of the ammo. Don't tell me what to do. What if I don't want to keep moving? I really don't like this guy and I cannot wait for Delgado to give me the go ahead to just put a bullet in his brain because Jesus Christ, he is irritating. Is that it? You picked up a new shiny gun. You're happy. Now we can leave. Fuck you. Okay, now that I've got all the ammo, we can leave. Housekeeping. Fuck this guy. Ah. And now I'm encumbered. I'm going to loot this area and drop whatever I decide I don't want and or need. And then once we progress and something new actually happens, I will uh, bring you guys back in. So because I'm an idiot, instead of choosing to drop all the shit that I probably don't need, I decided that I'm just going to suffer through my oxygen being fucked since I have personal atmosphere. I don't know why the game is being so framey right now. Where's everyone else? I'm the only one left. Damn creatures finished off the rest of my people. But finding the legacy, that is going to make their sacrifice worthwhile. Where are you right now? I don't know. Looks like some kind of a security office or something. It doesn't matter. Did you find anything or not? Thanks to Mathis's help, we found some information about Crix's legacy. Yep, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Del. Is that Mathis? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Uh, yeah, sorry, Del. You go right ahead. <laughs> okay. Now, all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. What about my ship? Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and get out of here. If Mathis and I take the shuttle, how are you getting back? Just a quick run across the ice to my 
ship, and I'm probably still being used as a key. You got it, boss. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the ICU process. Please stand by. Yup. It's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Hey, um, look, I, um... Well, I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. You're just worried I'm gonna tell Delgado about your plan. What? No, no way. But, well, now that you mention it, um, look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. I'll think about it. Oh, you're gonna be like that, huh? Well, I guess I deserve it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. I wish I could kill him, but... I'm guessing he's an essential NPC. Well, I'm already carrying too much shit, so I might as well take it, right? Oh boy, here they come. I'm trying to get my carry weight down by just chucking grenades everywhere. Oh, okay. We're getting cornered. We're chucking grenades. Fuck it. I don't care if we hurt Mathis. Fuck him. Ow. Oh, hi there. Where the fuck did you come from? Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a big thing. I don't know if uh, grenades are going to cut it for killing this thing. This is kind of funny though, just kind of chucking grenades everywhere and hoping for the best. I want to know where the big one went. Oh, maybe I don't want to know where the big one went. Nice, we have 10 impact grenades left and that's it. This will help get the carry weight down a little bit. We'll just let this dude be a damaged sponge while I chuck shit. <laughs> Ow. He got too close to me as I threw it. Oh boy. You know what? Where'd it go? I knew there was a reason I kept this thing on me. Okay. I don't know why I didn't start shooting. Frostbite, lacerations, and I am in a world of hurt. Did I kill it? Oh, nice. The thing is opening. While it opens, I guess I'll uh, collect a bunch more shit I probably don't need. There's got to be like a chest or something worth looting here, right? Oh, hiding all the way in the back here.
All right. Let's get the hashtag out of here. This is where we're going to end this episode off here. This might actually end up being two episodes. I've been recording for a little over two hours. That uh, prison was pretty huge. So I guess next time we'll go talk to Delgado. Probably going to throw old dude under the bus for being an asshole. And uh, then I imagine we're going to report in with the vengeance to give them the evidence that we collected while we were at the prison. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.